So what happens when you take the storytelling and quirkiness of Undertale and have a rhythm-based combat akin to Guitar Hero? You get Everhood. Everhood is available on Steam for $9.99 in the US. I think it's also available on the Switch. And I played the whole weekend. Took me about six or ten hours to complete. And wow, what a ride it was, man. Um, from the get-go, you get these Undertale vibes, man. You know, it's a meta game. It's great. It is really good. The story is a little bit more complicated to follow than with uh, Undertale. It isn't really everything is really explained to us point blank, but you know, it is hinted at. So you can definitely get yourself an idea about what the heck is going on in this game. And this game is great, man. It is, it is great. So basically, walk around the game uh, you have a hub in this hub you can access different doors different doors have different you know different places one is a mushroom forest uh, the other one is a carnival the other one is a town etc and every time you get into a battle by talking to somebody or needing an item there are no random battles when you talk to somebody and that somebody is supposed to fight you you get into that fight and um, it's great man you play into this five grid base sideways like guitar hero and uh, at first you have to dodge you can dodge either by going to the sides or by jumping although sliding to the sides is faster than jumping um, and that's the only mean of, of, of movement that you have later on the road you get uh, ways to deflect the attacks you know and it, it increases your offense by a huge margin. Uh, the music in this game is absolutely stellar. Um, it is very good, you know, especially when you're fighting and you know, you just, you just you know, it's unavoidable that you tap your feet to the music, man. It's that good. The story, as I said before, is, is very good, man. It's the type of story I personally enjoy. Um, it has a well written. Well, well written. It has a couple of uh, grammatical issues here and there. It should definitely have been proofread a little bit more, but uh, I'm assuming that, you know, since this was made by two people, as far as I know, um, it's pretty good, you know? It's, it's pretty good. The, 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 the writing is pretty, pretty good. Um, definitely serviceable. Uh, it has very good humor. And uh, the ending or, or slash revelation, you know, it's definitely something that, I mean, it did blow my mind a little bit. Um, now let's talk a bit, a little bit about what I didn't like. Um, let's get it out of the way. Everhood is a game I highly recommend, especially at the price that it is now. If you like rhythm-based games and story, a great soundtrack, and, and, and just to... You know, quirky characters. This is the game for you, man. It's $9.99. It's it's a, it's a freaking steal. Uh, it is short. It's six to eight hours. It has uh, four difficulty levels. I think it's story, easy, normal, hard. Or five difficulty story, easy, normal, hard. And then uh, I think it was uh, impossible. And the difficulty, uh, the game recommends playing on hard, which is what I did. Uh, I defeated every single enemy, got the true ending. However, there was one enemy in the entirety of the game, and it's actually an optional boss that is that was like super hard, man. I, I sat down in that chair, sweating my ass off, you know, trying to defeat the Emerald, you know. Uh, and this, is, this is really not a spoiler, but once you get the key to open up the chest that's in the, in the shop in the, in the, in the town, um, you get to do a fight. If you manage to defeat this enemy before the timer runs out, he will leave the emerald with him. But if you don't defeat him, he will disappear with the emerald. That battle is insane. 
you know, especially, especially on hard, man. You gotta be fast, you gotta hit your, your shots, you... Damn, that was the only time I had to quick it down to normal, man, because there's just no way. I was always two, four, maybe six hits behind, and, you know, it just didn't have enough time. It just couldn't be happening. Um, well, uh, well, uh, apart from the proofreading, and maybe that it would have been better if we would have spent a little bit more, more intimate time with these characters, really. You know, I think that's the only layer I was missing this game to be a masterpiece in terms of storytelling is we needed more time with the characters. We needed more one-on-ones. We needed more spent together time. We do get that, but not enough to get that emotional investment that's asked from us at a certain point in the game. Uh, you can feel invested into it, of course, but I believe in this regard, Undertale made a way better job of you actually caring about the characters, of you actually feeling bad about certain events. Characters. In Everhood, you do feel bad, but it's not definitely not the same at all. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, apart from those tiny min minuscule issues, you know, uh, in this game, huge warning. If you are sensitive to lights if you have a history of seizures you can't play this game the hands down you can't you just can't the lights sometimes when you fight especially in the mushroom forest when you fight for example this this uh, papa mushroom as you might say it you know uh, he will give you all the, the eternal truth the, the, it's like having an LSD trip man you know, it, 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 the endings too, and the final bosses fights, those fights, you know, it's all lights and, and freaking the screen starts going in and out, and it's just your you know, trip, man. But still, you know, I didn't have any issues completing the game. I, I was, however, playing with colorblind mode on. Uh, I felt that it helped me to get better visuals and better dif differentiate what the fuck is going on the screen. Part of my my dirty English um, and on and that this is a game I highly highly recommend uh, there's a new game plus you got a couple of extra things to do a couple of little bit of tiny bits of story bits to do uh, there's a, a an extra difficulty called I believe inferno or impossible don't quote me in which one hit you're gone you know uh, I don't know how, how much fun that is uh, but you know, it's definitely a game I, I want to return to. The gameplay is great. It has a custom battle editor, so you can customize your own battles. Uh, I'm not sure if you can use your own songs or music for it. That would be great. Um, and all I can say is I hope for for more of these guys. You know, this is a great game. I'm definitely a massive surprise, and this game deserves all its praise, all the recognition. And if you have $10 and you like video games, do yourself a favor, play this game. And if you have sensitivity to lights slash scissors, don't play it, but just listen to the soundtrack. I give Everheard an 8.5 out of 10.